on the golf course. There's a buck on the golf course. Literally on the golf course. This whole area is a golf course. There's literally a buck on the golf course. Oh my god. There is a buck on the golf course. It's showing me it's behind. Hello, Mr. Buck. Join some lunch? Well, I'll join my lunch too in a bit. But there's a buck on the golf Look what I found when I'm walking home from work today. Duckies! Duckies! Oh, over! Duckies! Someone just placed a bunch of duckies on the thing. Duckies all over. Duckies! Aren't they cute? Little duckies! Little duckies! Little duckies! Well, it is Wednesday. You never know what you're gonna find. Like the little Um, I need to get going. Still got a long way to walk. I'm going to enjoy seeing these little duckies and thinking about it all day. <laughs> well, look at this. Deer's crossing the road. Hello, babies. My mom was on the other side. Hello. Hello, babies. Well, you don't see that every day. Is there another one? <laughs> Stop looking at me. Hello, baby. <laughs> Goats. Back before our car comes. Okay. Bye bye babies. It is I to come back. Hello babies. Hello sweet ones. Gonna find your others? <laughs> Just three of them. Well that neighbor's gonna have fun seeing these three. They're gonna hang out this person's neighbor yard. Huh. That's 
awesome. It'll be interesting to see you after work today. Oh, that's fun. Softball game of the season. <laughs> Make me proud, sweetie. I'm really proud. You did a good job. Thanks. <laughs> love you. Yeah, I love you too. Oh my god. You're gonna hit me with the bag, aren't you? It's okay. I so you think you're gonna do softball you... next year? Huh? Think you're gonna do softball next year? I think so. Okay. Well, I'm, I'll probably come to one game if I am not too busy, alright? In case. If I am to keep... Say hi, Anna. Say hi. Hi. Okay. Woo! Oh. Very sunny day. Oh. Just get a little bit. If of I'm able to convince my my mom to yeah. do the next game right here, maybe come here. Uh, just the field and stuff. The house facing the bill making oh, Juneteenth a day, the official emancipation oh. of slaves, maybe a federal probably holiday, probably and a top Senate Democrat. Democrat. After the proposal yeah, yeah, for a sweeping voting special. overhaul bill, two more NBA head coaches out of a job while a Charlotte Hornets star has been named Rookie of the Year. On that call, on that board.
violations of American sovereignty, what would we do? Fox's Peter Ducey says Russian criminals are well, suspected of being behind recent no hack attacks targeting U.S. companies and Washington, he's including he's an incident last month that led to gasoline shortages across the eastern U.S. Ransomware yeah. and cyber attacks were a big topic of this discussion behind closed yeah, doors with Biden yeah. and Putin today. And I also had a chance to ask President Biden, who's speaking today, about how uh, there is no substitute for face-to-face -face interaction while conducting international diplomacy. Uh, Friday, he's called President Xi in China, somebody that he talks a lot of campaign trail about spending a lot of time with as vice president. And the president said the two of them are not friends, it's purely business. And the president also under increasing pressure to pressure Beijing to allow further probes into the origin of the COVID pandemic. Former President Trump reacting tonight to the meeting between President Biden and Russian President Vladimir Putin. We didn't get anything. We gave a very big stage to Russia and we got nothing. And we gave up something that was unbelievably valuable. I stopped the pipeline at Nordstrom and uh, that pipeline was stopped. And uh, it was given back and nothing was gotten for it. Trump in an exclusive interview with Fox's Sean Hannity. Mr. Trump maintaining he was harder on Russia than any other president. The U.S. will soon have a new federal holiday commemorating the end of slavery in the nation. The House voted overwhelmingly Wednesday to make Juneteenth or June 19th the 12th federal holiday. The bill now goes to President Biden for his signature. Juneteenth commemorates when the last enslaved African Americans learned they were free. Confederate soldiers surrendered in April 1865, but word didn't reach the last enslaved black people until June 19th when Union soldiers brought the news of freedom to Galveston, Texas. It's the first new federal holiday since Martin Luther King Jr. Day was created in 1983. It's Tom Rigotti, Fox News. A key Senate Democrat is offering his proposal for a sweeping voting overhaul bill. More about that from Fox's Jared Halpert. West Virginia Democrat Joe Manchin is the only senator in his party not to support S-1, an election overhaul bill seen by Democrats as necessary to counter new voter laws passing in Republican-led states. But Manchin is offering changes to the bill he would support, including a voter ID provision. Georgia Democrat John Ossoff says the negotiations are good. We need to unite as a caucus to pass substance. Hello rights. everybody, it's me. It is a very, very hot day in July. The 3rd of July. And if you in the U.S. know what that means. Fourth of July, baby. Tomorrow. <laughs> so, I'm just waiting for good old sis to get out of the house. So we're probably going to go sh a little sh grocery shopping and maybe get some fireworks. And if I sound really tired and boring, it's because I had a long, long shift week. So, I am exhausted. This is exhausted face. A very, very little sleep. And there goes my sunglasses. Okay. Yeah. So, join me for that little ride, why don't you? As the movie people say, hasta la la vista, baby. Fireworks stand, which Sissy is going to. Yeah. Got a giant monkey on it. Antique fireworks, even though there's a burn ban <laughs> in my state. Oh, I'm gonna take a little pop it and see what they got. 